might say that. What with the war economy and all, and the system clamping down on things. System codes of the law now, and controls essentially absolute, paving the way for bad profits, if you're willing to bend the law. The man keeps on growing thanks to the war economy. I sell ID guns to the PMCs and state armies, and naked guns to terrorist groups and paramilitaries. My dog's trying to get in one sec. I won't have to pause the cutscene. Sold on the black market. Systems practically a license for us arms dealers to print money. Privatizing the military has made the PMCs big and bloated. The fatter the PMCs get, the line between civilian and soldier is gonna get. Bailey has joined the party. I think I'll do one more section depending on how much time it takes. More like we're all gonna be fighting proxy wars. But hey, this war economy puts the food on my tea. You're a green collar too, aren't you? Yeah, it's in your eyes. You've seen a lot of combat. What makes you think you can be? Nothing to be ashamed of. I'm the same way. I grew up here too. I got no interest in the outside world. All right then. If you need me, holla. Holla. Speedy service. Catch my drift. See, now the back of the thing was just open. Why did he climb to the top? What if he landed on his monkey on the way in? Oh, I know, is that his pimp monkey and a pimp ride? Snake's like, yeah, I'm tough. Now this whole coming up section can be done without even getting seen. Well, actually there's one spot where you could get seen and you can completely avoid it very easily. And more Otacon. I know what you're thinking, but Drebin does have a point. The world depends on war. On the war economy. Can you imagine what would happen if war just disappeared overnight? Otacon, you and Drebin both mentioned something about a war price earlier. What did you mean by that? It's a kind of market price. One that fluctuates according to demand, not only for PMCs and military industry, but for the production, distribution, and energy supply networks that support them. Hmm. It's been growing by leaps and bounds, and investors are really starting to take notice. As the fighting in any given area becomes increasing, Bailey's watching me play Metal Gear. She's like staring at the TV right now. No doubt Drebin's rates are Smart dog. The, price. the longer and bloodier a battle becomes, the higher service prices are going to get. To put it another way, the quieter things are, the better the bargains. Snake, we'll use the Mark II to deal with Drebin from here on out. He's what you might call a street vendor. The Mark II can act as a kind of delivery boy, connect you with it. I'm adding a Drebin menu item to the Mark II's weapon menu. Whenever you pick up multiple units of the same weapon, any extras will automatically be sold. Yeah, the whole Drebin service is very easy to deal with. Cash. In other words, you keep the ammo, and the weapon itself gets traded to Drebin for points. I see. You can then use the points you've earned to unlock ID guns or buy new weapons. Sounds good. We should assume Dremen has other agents collecting guns for him besides you, Snake. You know, freelance green collars who collect weapons in exchange for services? Guess I'll have to rely on him for now. Okay. Now go meet up with our informants, Rat Patrol. Okay, this whole part, like I said, can be done. Snake, hurry and get to the rendezvous point with our informants. First, Playboy. We have to get to the other side of that collapsed building. 
They say you can arouse the attention of anybody from the ages of 18 to 80. I'm pretty sure it can be like anybody from like 5 to 80. Okay, I'm gonna take that and put it on because I'm gonna need it. Hold on a minute, let me fix something in my items menu. Let's see, regain, we'll put there. Noodles. Yeah, that's all we need for now. There's also a lot of goodies you can pick up in this area. And that's not where it is. This is where it is. Silly me. I already have a ton of RPG ammo. There's another one. It's like the fourth one I've gotten since Careful, I started Nick. playing. The walls could come down any second. Generally the walls won't come down on you, so don't worry about it. That's the only area you can get seen right there. Just if you stand over there too long. One down. And two down. 